Here is a career map for biotech, life sciences, bioinformatics and microbiology and all such life science students who are just getting started in their career. Now let's start by talking about degree. It is very important. If you are taking a degree lightly, you will not succeed in the biotech industry because the industry demands complicated, complex knowledge, which is 10 times more complicated than your degree. So your degree is important. Number one. The number two is skill set. Now skill set can be divided into four parts. One is technical skills. The basic foundation, your degree will teach you. The second basic foundation, we will train you. Then you have the soft skills like communication skills, team building skills, project management, product management, all of that, right? And then you have to learn the tools, techniques, technologies, which is, which is emerging and which is trending. For example, CRISPR, for example, multiple biology techniques, for example, um, bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, machine learning and drug discovery and various other um, computational biology tools. Okay. Of course, programming as well. Now, this is about apart from your degree, what do you do? Now, the third very important thing is you have to know what are the areas which you can grow. So there are uh, seven to eight areas or seven to eight doors which will be in front of you as soon as you pass your master's or bachelor's. Number one will be R&D, highly crowded, you can't get in. Number two will be formulation and development. You can get in, but you can be a robot just like a factory worker. Number three will be QAQC. You can get in a lot of demand. It's growing and every company needs it. Evergreen field. Number four will be clinical research and clinical data management. Number five will be bioinformatics. That's a dry lab. And of course, an extension of that is artificial intelligence, machine learning. Number six will be regulatory affairs. And number seven will be patent and intellectual property management. So there are multiple other opportunities also, which I can, of course, not cover in this 180 seconds video. But let me be very, very clear. Opportunities will be open only for those who are ready for it. So you have to take your degree seriously. You have to take your wet lab skills really seriously. Work on your dry lab skills. Improve your soft skills. Okay. And you have five years to do that. But bachelor's and master's both. Right. And then if you want to do PhD, don't go without a CSIN. You can take training of CSIN with Biotechnica. In fact, for all the skills which I told you, you have Biotechnica to train you. So my message to you is, see, opportunities will come to you, but then you'll be like, I'm not eligible. The truth is you didn't plan ahead. You have to plan ahead. And even if you are late, don't worry. There is always room for everybody in the biotech and pharma industry, but you have to plan from now also at least. A meticulous plan will lead to great results, grand results, right? So a beginning of a successful career, which which it always starts with 1% change in how you do things. So go ahead, make those changes, take help of Biotechnica's career counselors. We have free career counseling available. You can reach out to us and we will help you. All the best.